White House officials tell me that the president got the information for this false charge from the website Breitbart, which was writing up the claims of conservative talk radio host Mark Levin. The White House spent much of Saturday trying to find evidence within the government to back up the president's claim. Then Sunday morning, they punted, saying Congress should investigate the matter. They will have no further comment. The big question, of course, where did the president get this latest conspiracy theory from? As we've reported, White House officials say that the president's sources were various conservative outlets, most prominently perhaps radio host Mark Levin, who seemed to take three basic chunks of information and combine them into one conspiracy theory of what he calls a silent coup going on by the intelligence community and former Obama administration officials. Here are the three chunks. One, leaks from the intelligence community calling out Trump administration officials for giving out inaccurate information about their contacts with the Russians and other stories. Two, News reports that the FBI is investigating possible contacts between Trump campaign advisors and Russians. And three, unconfirmed reports in the British press that the FBI may have sought FISA warrants to monitor Trump campaign communications. Now, those reports say nothing about President Obama being personally involved, nor do they say wiretapping was ever approved on Mr. Trump himself. Now, here's a rather amazing detail. It actually does not appear that any of these conservative outlets reported as fact what President Trump is now claiming, that, quote, Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower just before the victory. Levin has asked the question as to whether the president is behind the leaks and the surveillance, but when he was directly asked by Fox News if former President Obama was directly involved in any of this, Levin said this. I'm not Nostradamus here. I just think that we ought to find out. But I, but I will tell you this. He's more involved than he says. Now, it would be bad enough if, if the president valued the conjecture and accusations of these sources more than the facts that he has access to more than any other person in the world. But it's actually worse than that. President Trump took what Levin and others were saying and made it even less tethered to fact. With conjecture and venom, they alleged a conspiracy. He took it one step further and said it happened and President Obama was behind it. And as we've reported, the FBI director is incredulous at this charge and says it's completely false.